when Master Evil comes to play. And Mama says that it's okay. Alex and Josh are stole away and made to watch these movies to stay alive until the day they made us. Welcome, viewers, to Slash Tracks with Josh and some other guy. Episode 13. How are you doing, Josh and other guy? Keeping your sanity still? Well, I will say it has personally been a great week for me. I am so cold. I am so hungry. And my everything is far from desirable. Seems right to me. You know, I'm sorry. Come on, I made one mistake. Okay, I made like a handful of mistakes. With your mom, it was with your mom. But it, you have to understand that it wasn't completely my fault. So, it was my ma's fault, is that what you're trying to say? My terrible, evil, sinister mother. Wow, Alex, that is cold. That's his mom, and you're throwing her under the bus. Wasn't throwing her onto your bed enough? Oh, or was it the couch? Was that it? Enough! We are going to move past that and on to more important things, like tonight's movie. One I hope will drive you mad once and for all. Honey, did you send me flowers? That isn't very evil, son. You know I despise flowers. No! I would never do something so anti-evil and ugh, sweet. Ew. But who in the world would be sending you flowers? Alex! Shit. I forgot that I ordered those and had them scheduled to be delivered today. Wow, man. <laughs> Do you think this is funny, Alex? A little joke. I thought I made things hard on you, but apparently not hard enough. If you are able to order flowers for Ma! Good point. Things are hard enough, I promise. I ordered those before you found out. I mean, I mean, before you suspected me of... Uh, what I mean to say was before you thought. Silence! I understand. So far as there are no more surprises, then you will stay at your current level of discomfort. No worse. For now. You know, usually I like to chime in here and there, but I got nothing. This is better than Netflix. Better than The Mandalorian. I promise. No more surprises, all right? No more surprises. Just give us our movie, and we'll go on our way. I have to play checkers with the damn rodeo clown tonight, and it's his game night. Thanks a lot for that new torture, by the way. Yes, Mr. Flivel thought that one up. <laughs> hey, Alex, Alex, just wait until he wants to play Twister and invites his friends and colleagues over. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Josh. Don't give him any ideas. He's still listening. Uh huh. I heard that. That's a good idea, Alex. Shit. Very well. Tonight's movie is Dr. Giggles. It's an early 90s straight to video slasher flick Ugh. that is sure to finally sap your spirit completely. <laughs> Why is there a singing telegram dressed in a penguin suit wearing a sombrero at the door? Alex! Shit! Double shit! Don't worry. I'll 
show them some evil family hospitality. Looks like Flivel will have a new playmate. Tell Alex this was very evil of him, and I said thank you. I will not. We are going to talk later, prisoner. You know what? I do not blame you, Master Evil. If I were you, I would definitely be pissed. I would come on, Alex, and man. I would... Come on, Josh. You got what you wanted. You're living the good prisoner life. Can you just leave well enough to fuck alone, please? I mean, I guess I could always say I'm sorry, Alex. I could. You know what? I could send you a singing telegram duck with a life preserver or something. It, that seems to be what gets you your rocks off. <laughs> Very funny. For your information, the penguin and the sombrero represent something very meaningful to Mother Evil and I. To the night that me and Mother Evil had our thing, and you wouldn't understand anything. You wouldn't yeah. comprehend it. You know what? I think you're right, but I would love to hear you try to explain it. Well, Mother Evil has this saying for big hats, and she's a fan of the Mexican culture. And uh, one time we were watching Happy Feet together. And one thing led to another. But, Stop the movies! So, uh, he hung up pretty fast because you were telling the story. I wouldn't mind hearing it. Uh, so, at, before all this went down, you ordered her flowers, which I don't know why you would order Mother Evil flowers. But you got her a singing telegram guy to dress up as a penguin wearing a sombrero. What song was he going to sing exactly? Uh, do you remember the Titanic? My heart will go on. Oh my god. You did that for Mother Evil? Yeah, sure? I did. And yeah. What? Okay. Okay. That's the wow. heart wants what the heart wants. Okay. Man. Man. I'm gonna get to meet her soon, so maybe I'll get to see what you're talking about. Um Jesus Christ. <laughs> I gotta hear more of the story. Uh I wonder what she meant by Flyvel's gonna flivel whatever's gonna have a new playmate though. Did you just get that guy like a life of torture by hiring him to go to the evil's house? I... Or is he literally gonna go play with Mr. Flivel in a friendly way and then be able to go home afterwards? Well, it kind of depends on the package that I that he came with different options for what I'd pay him for what he was gonna do. He's actually gonna do some wet work. So wet work. Wet work. What's that mean? He's, he goes number one place. Oh, okay. Uh, Dr. Giggles, man. You have any history with this movie at all? No, I don't. I don't appreciate you cutting me off when I'm trying to be honest and open with you I'm about pretty stuff. I'm pretty sure the audience appreciates me cutting you off there about wet work. Uh, and I'm glad I didn't know what that meant. Um, I'd hate to know what the other one would be called. Is that like solid work or something? No, it's, you know, you're acting like wet work is mopery. What? Yeah, you're acting like wet work is as bad as mopery. What's mopery? Pleasuring like yourself in front of a blind man. Is that really a thing? Yes. Dude, I've got, I don't know you at all. I thought I knew you, but man, you, is that what you're doing with your limited internet access and no heat, no barely any food? Living the Josh life as it was for me before? Is yeah, that what you're doing, just, just looking up these crazy things? The not-sweet life of Josh and Alex. <laughs> well, mine's pretty sweet right now. Like, I feel like I'm almost back at home. I literally got to bring my family in and everything for a couple days. It was awesome. Uh, we, we got to cook out. We had steaks on the grill, hamburgers, hot dogs, potato salad, the works, man. It was awesome. Great. The you know what, I, you know what I had? You know what I had? What? He sent me stuff to barbecue, too, but really? it was just those little green plastic bags that you put dog shit in. <laughs> Filled with dog shit. <laughs> That's a different kind of filet mignon right there. Um. <laughs> yeah, and, and it doesn't taste nearly as good based on what the dog's diet was before he left his, you know, dump in the bag. So That's what A1's for, man. And you know what? A1? I wish I had A1. Uh, maybe maybe one of the dogs did wet work before they were uh, before their feces were sent to you for for to be eaten. Uh, anyways, man, let's let's just jump in because I don't know where this conversation is gonna go. The movie's gotta be not as bad as where this conversation's gonna go. But uh, 
Yeah, I think he might have gotten this poor telegram singer in real trouble. And also, how's the rodeo clown doing? I don't want to talk. You know what? I shouldn't even be in this situation. I don't want to be with the rodeo clown. He never shuts up. He always wants to play games. He's aggressive. I think he might be bipolar a little bit. I know. I, told, I know, man. I know. He doesn't sleep. He doesn't sleep. He just stares at you out the, out the barrel, right? He stare, well, stares out the barrel. He's gotten into some really weird shit lately, like he's doing parkour. Do you know what parkour is? I know what parkour is. He's like jumping around what little room we have and busting holes in the walls and shit, doing dumbbell lifts with his barrel and trap lifts. and it's It sucks. This whole thing ever, sucks. Do you ever catch him staring at you while you sleep? Yeah. <laughs> at least when do I not? not? At least he's not? not. At least he's not doing wet work. Um, you ready? Yet. Yet. <laughs> you got your movie ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. In uh, three, two, one, go. Hey, it's the Warner Brothers lot. Is that what you got? Yeah, let me plug my headphones in that Master Evil let me have. Oh, that's some pretty water. What's this all about? Ah! Oh, sorry. It looked like it was going to get me. Looks Inter like it's about to get wet, Josh. Inter Maybe a little wet work. Stop it. For extreme illnesses, extreme treatments are most fitting. Yeah, uh, we know that's Dr. Evil, or Master Evil is very ill, and this is uh, his treatment, putting us through this. JVC, isn't that the name of a company that used to make TVs? Yeah, I think so. A Manny Koto film. You know Manny Koto? Yeah, he was a boxer that got knocked out by George Foreman in his comeback. Oh, okay. All right. Hey, uh, the movie's on life support already. <laughs> Dr. GGS? No, oh, Dr. G G G E S. Dr. G I G G. Oh, Dr. There we go, Dr. Giggles. Uh, I, I wasn't sure for him. That was a lot of G's. In subsidiary with Shitter Productions brings you Dr. Giggles. I guess this is uh, blood, like blood cells here. Wow, man, this CGI is so realistic. I feel like I'm in a, in a junkie's vein. I feel like I'm in a bonus from a slot machine from the 80s. <laughs> oh, we're back in there. Are we like the heroine in this scenario? Is that what's going on here? This is uh, actually an outtake from Look Who's Talking. <laughs> this, Ma'am, your, your pregnancy is, is, is run into a problem. What? The baby's coming through your blood veins. I uh, <laughs> don't know how this happened. Okay, that's just, that's wrong. That's just wrong. That's wrong. What is it that the blood cells just went through? Was that the pee hole? <laughs> I don't know, man. What was that? It looks like some kind of fish or something. Do we have fish in our blood veins? I have no mm -hmm. idea. There's an actress in this movie named Nancy Fish. Maybe she knows. These blood, th these blood cells look like the Lifesavers gummies, and I'd really want some Lifesavers gummies now. Like, I don't, I feel like the beginning of Jason X here a little bit. Oh, okay, that's obviously a heart. That heart is diseased. Look at all the yellow and shit on it. Damn. That was so realistic. I, I can't even tell you, man. That just blew me away. Kramer is actually observing this uh, procedure right now, and he's going to drop some junior mints into the patient. <laughs> that's what they looked like. They were just red ones. Air, bear. He's not very good at operation. <laughs> As you he's, can see, I murdered this man and doing surgery on him while he's in his suit and tie. I wonder if he's better at operation than the guys who were doing acid in Redneck Zombies. <laughs> yeah, tell that to a certain guy in the United States right now. He looks just like one of the guys who, like, paid to kill someone in Hostel. <laughs> I think that's what's going on here. I think that... Hmm. 
Man, that's worse than 192. <laughs> if we don't take care of this patient, he's well on his way to 194 and 195 status. Man, you don't want to get him to 196. Bloody hell. I told him not to do the cutbacks on the overtime pay. You're very handsy, you know that? <gasps> I recognize that. Wow, he's got puns. He's got puns, man. He might do the job for us. Hey, man, get away from that body. It's an unarmed man. Uh, so is there FBI already investigating this guy before they realize that he did something wrong? No, I think they're just hospital administrators, like, trying to find where the patients have went. They're really shitty at their job. Uh, well, I guess if they had just bought in tickets to the operation like all those other people up there, they would have uh, known uh, what was going to happen. Right. I guess, that you know, it wasn't their turn yet to, to play. Is it is it Giggles Hospital? What the hell? I mean, I know people are crazy. Do all crazy people just laugh maniacally all the time? Son of a hundred maniacs, son of a hundred maniacs. This would be so much more efficient if I didn't have to stop, put my car in the park, and get murdered. He's got puns, man. I don't know. He, he's gonna. We can just let him go. It, this is this place is far too easy to break out of Josh, and murder Josh, people in. A moving gate. A gate that moves on its own. I know they, they got a hell of a budget, man. And you That's know, incredible. Two of them. Two of them. <laughs> Puppet Master versus Demonic Toys could learn something. Oh man, we're map traveling. We were just about to Muppet map travel. Just waiting for like a pic, like a cartoon airplane and some yeah. music. The drone got away from us, guys. It, it's out of range. I can't even see the car they're supposed to be filming. <laughs> a drone. Yeah, back in 92, that was probably filmed on a paper airplane. Whatever it was, like, they didn't even get the car in the shot till the very last frame, like the very last second. School's out, man! So rad! Summer Bash. What do you think I, the Summer Bash is, exactly? Summer Bash is just going home and getting in the fridge and putting, you know, Nicktoons on. That's what the Summer Bash is, and it's a party of one. Is, is that girl got... That's that's just weird looking for some reason. I'm not trying to shame her. I'm not going to shame her. That is the third hottest sister on Charmed. Oh, that explains it. Wait, they were like far away from the door a second ago, and they're like they teleported back to the door of the school and came out. Okay. That thing in the middle of her shirt looks like a like a tomato that's like been out in the sun a while. Um, you know who that guy is right there? That's that's. He's from Roseanne. He sure is. Uh, he actually passed away uh, in like 2003. His name's yeah. Glenn. Glenn something. Um, but yeah, he that's was, him. He was a Scottish actor. Actually, he was not American. Oh, we got our cliche shitty friend, uh, smart ass guy over there with the glasses. Well, he can't hang out. He can't hang out and go to the bash after school because he's got to go work at the motorcycle shop with Dan and Lanford. Right. You're going to you're going to treat Becky right. You're going to get a job and she's going to finish school. That's what he's there. He's making sure she's finishing school. All right, guys, I'm the director here. Be sure to put your arm around one of the girls in the scene so we can uh, let the audience know that you're a you're a couple for later. It'll be important. And get As that tomato off your shirt. As if the one gigantic summer bash uh, sign in the front of the school wasn't enough, they had to have another one plastered nondescriptly behind them in that scene as well. The summer bash, man, I want to go. The the joke here is, he's not even a he. He's just he's just a podiatrist. He's a foot doctor. He's like, let yeah. me know. Let, let me check your breasts. I can't. No, he's a. I came here to get my a filling in my tooth. What are you doing <laughs> to me, sir? <laughs> That's not where my heart is. Pull your tooth after I see you naked. 
And uh, they, wear, wear less clothes. The only way we can tell if you have falling arches is through intercourse. Mm. Yeah, we do we do operations all the time. I'm gonna call in Doctor G G G E S. He shows up uh, for the intercourse appointment with her, and his penis has a little lab coat on, a little stethoscope on the top of his <laughs> the penis head. <laughs> I'm the doctor. This is the surgeon. <laughs> doctor Dick is getting scrubbed up and ready for the Wait, procedure. Are you telling me that Mister Dick went and got a PhD? Yeah, he's Mister Dick he's a doctor from now. Ghoulies. Yeah, he's, he's, doc, he's, doc, he's Dr. Dick. He's Dr. Dick to you, pal. Meanwhile, on Elm Street. <laughs> I know, right? This is 1423 God. Elm Street. Didn't that look like the Freddy's Dead shot? You better get out of my basement, bitch. <laughs> I'll never tell. I won't tell anyone, Daddy. I won't tell. <laughs> but you did tell, didn't you? So, wait. He was a doctor at some point. 193 was a doctor. He seems very unstable to be able to get through all those exams to actually become a doctor. I would like hey, to see the backstory. She's on her, it's, I guess she's on her way to grandma's house with some food. Where's the wolf at? No, that's actually, she's on uh, Niebolt Street right now. What is up with this house, man? Why, why is that gate still up and... And why why does it look like such a piece of shit? I mean, he is a doctor. You think he'd be able to... I mean, he's a killer doctor, but you think he'd be able to afford better real estate than that. What are all these people walking on this dirt road in the middle of the day by Freddy's house doing? What, what's up with this? And why is there, like, this nice, super nice house right next to this derelict house here? Wow, she, wow, so one street is paved with nice houses and cars. Then they got this little dirt path over here with the, you know, Freddy's house. Elm, Elm Street hasn't been paved yet. Um, hey, this house looks like Nancy's house before Freddy. I was going to say it kind of looked like Lori's house from the first Halloween, but yeah. Yes, mother. Or no, mother, I'm just... Some random person breaking into your house. Wait a second. That's supposed to be her mother? That looks like her fucking sister. Wow, that's Cliff D. Young, man. He played Brad in the sequel to the Rocky Horror Picture Show. He was also in Carnosaur, too. Yeah, he was in Carnosaur, too. With our that boy, is... Jesse. Yep. Ryan Thomas Johnson. That is him, right? That is the guy from Carnosaur, yes, too. Yes, that's 100% yeah. him. <laughs> I, I wonder if he had some sort of deal with, uh, I wonder if this studio is the same studio that made Carnosaur. God, I hope not. I, I saw this movie a long time ago, and from what I remember, it's not horrible, horrible, but it's pretty bad. Where did the apple come from? I have no idea. From his Dell? <laughs> his Dell PC he's got there? Or his Apple PC? And when, and, when did she, and when did she change clothes on the way home from school? I thought she was wearing that pink sweater. Uh, no, I remember she was, she was wearing like a tank top thing with like a tomato in the middle, remember? Oh, you're right. Uh, Glenn must have taken it off before he headed to the cycle shop. Yep. I guess she needed to cover up the misshapen breast or whatever. Oh, don't go in there. Fucking asshole. It said as, private. As if that house needs to have a sign on it that says private. Nobody wants to go to that shit heap anyway. That was patient 192. Colonel Sanders lived here at some point. Finger looking good. Was that his dad? Is Colonel Sanders your dad? What is this guy fucking Dirty John? He just wears his, uh, or like his uh, hospital scrubs everywhere. Oh, we're in a flashback. I can tell because it's black and white and grainy. <laughs> Where's the beeve at? Friend Dale. MD. Uh, is he doing dick surgery on a teddy bear? He looks like he's giving that teddy bear an old fashioned. I say, I say, son, you need to stop cutting that teddy bear up right there and eat some of my fried chicken. It's finger looking good, son. I just mangled this bear, daddy. I'm not a doctor, I'm a chicken connoisseur. 
He's like, son, when kids play doctor, they're trying to get some nookie, not trying to tear the stuff right out of a bear. We need to teach you uh, the birds and bees here, pal. Wow, that's a lot of teddy bears. I kind of okay, feel I'm, sorry for I'm the lost. guy now. I'm lost. He had a flashback. He was the kid that was like butchering the bears. Yeah, but what what is he? What does he know? What what's going on here? He never got to be. He he knows his dad wants him to be a doctor. So even though he can't be a doctor because he's a psychotic freak, he's going to be a doctor anyways. He's going to kill people and he make them probably, better. Well, if they won't pass, if he can't pass the the medical you know exam in the other forty nine states, he could always go to Arizona State. Is this like is this guy like the love child of uh, Polly Shore and Brendan Fraser? <laughs> That'd be a hell of a kid, actually. I love That's his little man. <laughs> and and also Alex Winters from uh, the guy the the guy with that we just saw right there with the axe thing. He looks like Alex Winters, Brendan Fraser, and Polly Shore, like a, a dollar store version of all three mixed together. Alex Alex Winters doesn't get enough love, man. I loved him in Lost Boys as Marco. I loved him in Bill and Ted. He's He's great. Gee, I wonder who's going to die first in this movie. It's from the early 90s. It's a toss-up. I'm almost positive I had that same flannel hoodie on some number he's got right there. I've had like three different colors of that. Is this the summer bash where they're just talking about the crazy doctor that used to live there? The summer bash, only four people actually showed up. Is, is that what's going on here? No, this is just hijinks. So they decide to go to the crazy doctor's house and tell people the story about it on the same day that he breaks out of jail and is back in the house. That is very convenient, very convenient. It's, it's almost like the script writer didn't have to put much effort into this at all. I'm surprised that since they're going to the killer's house and uh, they're looking around, I'm surprised Buster Rhymes hasn't showed up yet. <laughs> I wonder who, who, uh, how much people got paid to do all the graffiti for the set. Because <laughs> you know that was a job. That, that was a job. Guinness, GED, squirrels, squirrels something, and Bush. Oh, Rush. They're Rush fans. Are you sure it didn't say Mr. Squirrels? It might have, actually. <laughs> Will Friedel lives reference. in there. <laughs> mm, bow, bow, bow. Chica, chica, chica. And I see a, a dick drawing on the wall back there. At least the door said thank you. Hey, I got a question. When is she going to return that tuxedo vest? Because you know that the place she rented it from wants it back, and they're charging her a late fee for that. So wait, wait. These guys took their friends, who I'm not even going to point out about their friends, but they just locked them in a room up there, and now they're celebrating it. That was their plan. That's how they get their jellies. They're like, we're going to lock them in that freaking old killer's house, and then we're going to like give each other an old-fashioned. How the fuck would that be his idea? That's that's Dougie Doug. That's from Cool Runnings, man. It sure is. That's Senka. I'm not getting you out of here until I get you off in here. <laughs> that motivated him. Here we go. Hey, hopefully he's not one of the fastest of the fastest of Jamaican sprinters in the bedroom. He's going to bobsled his way out of there. <laughs> John Candy was very good in that movie. John Candy was. Shouldn't have put weights in the sled, man. He screwed himself over. It's a true story, too. Um, so now he's dressing up in his father's clothes. Who, you might, who I might add... His father was way shorter and skinnier than this actor is, but the clothes fit perfectly. I was, you know what? You stole my comment. I was going to say, sure there's no way in hell that outfit fits. I can read your mind, man. And for anybody who wants some other, he's Alex is usually the, the fact guy. But if you've ever seen American Pie 2, 
in the beginning where Jim Jimbo is like uh, getting it on with a girl in the college. They're having goodbye sex, and the girl's parents walk in. The dad, that's Doctor Diggles. There you go. You're welcome. Natalie, avert your eyes. The guy that says avert your eyes. He's got like three lines in that. Movie. That's it. Yeah, that's Doctor Giggles. Man, I was kidding earlier when I said I wonder who's going to die first. It's a toss-up. And this movie is like totally going with the cliche of the early 90s. It's not even, it's not, I thought it might surprise us, but no. Um, well, actually, you're, you're wrong, Josh. The, the first person to die in this movie is the box office returns <laughs> for this film. So you're wrong. <laughs> Apologize to the Slashaholics right now. Yeah, put your eye up to the keyhole and this dirty dude you know good and well it ain't a good idea to mess with her she got mad about being locked in the room that why guy is, I... does not want any why did I feel like Dr. Giggles was going to put his dick through that keyhole when he did that for some reason didn't he just do it <laughs> no what the hell he just injected him with something. With what? <laughs> Ebola? What the hell was that? Liquid COVID. And that was in his father's doctor kit? Apple day keeps the doctor away. A Ebola day makes you vomit within two seconds. So okay. he, has, he has a pun for every kill. Yep. That was a weird segue, I gotta say. Guy killing two characters with a needle, Poodle, and Ben Casey. But man, wow, what a cliche right there. Um, wow, this movie so, really, really went there. So she, she didn't even try to fight back at all, apparently. They just cut. Yeah, she just stood there and said, okay, inject me with the needle. <laughs> okay, well, I guess it's over. It was a good life. You know, I've I've been in I've lived in a few different towns and when there's an eyesore on a street like that, they don't let it sit there that long. They have meetings, town city council and everything. They get these places demolished. Who's well, pay, who's been paying the, the, the fees, the, the taxes on the land? Also, when there's a house that's that disgusting and that big of an eyesore in town, it's not like everybody in the neighborhood decides to drop by it in the same day. It's got a glory hole. I know why it's still there. Never mind. He got it. He got the joke. I see you. Oh, it's the summer bash. Is this hey, the summer bash? Josh, all she was trying to do was to see if he was interested in some Tupperware or Avon. Or both. Avon Tupperware. You, you can make yourself look prettier and keep your food fresh. Man, Becky is going to be so pissed. Becky is going to be pissed. Wait Roseanne, till she catches wind of this. Roseanne's going to come back from the dead from her opioid, opioid overdose and take him to church, man. That's what they did to Roseanne on the Connors. I know that. And you know what? I'm very... I'm st I, had, I don't even watch the Connors. I I'm, love the Connors. I love it. Uh, the thing is, she was like a big writer of the first season, and she ended the first season with Roseanne stashing pills after telling Dan she was quitting pills and only going to take what she's supposed to. He walks out of the room, she pulls out a whole bottle of pills, hides them in the freezer in an ice pack. So she kind of set the storyline up, you know? It, she it was there. She pulled a Bret Hart. She told Shawn Michaels to put ABC, put her in a sharpshooter, basically. Oh, no. The mean old popo showed up at the Summer Bash. The Lanford screw job. Hey, Nobody's hey, Josh. Listening Josh. to you, cop. Josh, they're like, how did the cops find out about the, the, ba the, the bash? <laughs> Except for all the fucking banners and posters we had plastered all over the school in town. We didn't know they could read. How could they possibly figure this out? That's about as good as hiding your wallet in the end of your shoe at the beach and putting a towel over your shoe right. and hoping it doesn't get stolen. 
that dude was talking to like one person there for like the past 10 seconds. There was one car left. <laughs> I hope you're proud of yourselves, assholes. That was the summer bat. It was like all it was was like the summer bat. They didn't even have a bash. Well, first of all, they shouldn't even be upset at the sheriff for this, for breaking this up. They should be upset at whoever made the fucking banners and the posters. And put them all over the school. Yeah, and put them all over the courtyard at the school and on the front of the school. No, co It even said no cops allowed. These cops, they broke the rules, man. That's not cool. So who, who's in charge of uh, the haircut situation for the police officers in this town? Because his hair is all over the place. Or that woman's hair right there. She's, that, she's got the Prince Valiant haircut. Good lord, what kind of pill was that? Okay, uh-uh. I, I get spoiling your dog, but there is a perfectly working doggy door right there. <laughs> oh, the pill was red and now it's blue. She's fucked, man. Blue pills? Uh-uh. You ever <laughs> had a little blue pill before? Four <laughs> hours later, you're like, shit, I gotta go to the ER? She's in for it, man. Yeah, how she, she don't even have one, and she's gonna get it. How's she gonna film uh, a, a movie with her clitoris, her clitoris engulfed in blood the entire movie, and just engorged? Absolutely. It don't feel good, does it? She's like, what is this? What is this feeling? I haven't been aroused in years. And the bitch's clit grew three times bigger that day. You broke the antenna. You're fucked. She's trying to call the the hotline for the little blue pill company. <laughs> it's it's only it's only been three hours and fifty nine minutes. They're like, you're gonna have to hang up and call back after four hours. Oh my god, he's got the puns, man. He's got the puns. I knew it. I knew that dog knew how to use the doggy door. And uh uh, not cool. That dog is too spoiled. Is his Lowe's? name Rendell or R. Rendell or F. Rendell? Uh, I don't know, but most serial killer movies, they don't start out with puns in the very first movie like this. They usually that, do it three or four sequels later. Was his dad a doctor or a novelty shop owner? <laughs> did you see Gosh. the size of that tongue depressor? <laughs> yes, and did you see the mouth shot that looked just like the Dennis the Menace shot? where Dennis shoots the medicine down Mr. Wilson's yes. throat. Oh, wait, I'm starting to think that he's not a real doctor. <laughs> what tipped you off, Josh? And I'm starting to think his dad was a serial killer. <laughs> These people don't really put up much of a fight, do they? So he, like, doesn't... Act, I'm, I'm starting to think he doesn't actually want to help these people. I'm I'm getting that house call my ass. Yeah. It's almost like he's trying to do the opposite of helping these people. You know, we could we could pull their license for calling this movie Doctor Giggles. It should be imposter giggles. It should be called big fucking faker giggles. <laughs> big gobbly giggle gooker giggles. Full of shit giggles. Okay, what made them come to this house? I have no idea, Josh, because they never showed why. They, they just broke up the bash. So I don't know what led them to this house. I have no they're idea. Like, they're like, you know, if I was a kid, I would wait till this day when the doctor escaped to have the summer bash here. This is probably where the first bash happened with the smaller group of people. Probably four of them. And I have a feeling that a couple of them locked a couple of their friends in a room here as a practical joke of some kind. <laughs> You're the best detective in town. God damn. <laughs> Well, what, sir, what led you to uh, believe all those highly uh, intricate facts and, uh, you know, things you thought led you to this house? Well, I found a couple Ebola uh, <laughs> canisters missing from the local pharmacy, and I put, I, I put five and seven together, and... Uh, I found a couple... I, I noticed that there were some liquid Ebola capsules missing from the local pharmacy. <laughs> it is more high. That's the name of the town, so... I thought that cop was going to run away because he was scared. <laughs> he... Oh, so his dad was, was a psycho. Okay. Why do I feel like they filmed the ghost and Mr. Chicken in this house? Wait a second. That, 
uh, the 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 young cop said, "How did he get out of this? How did the kid get out of this house?" The other guy goes, "That's what they say." What kind of answer is that? That's just horseshit editing. That's not. That's what they say. People go that's around what saying. They say. People go around saying, "How did the kid get out of that house?" That's what they say. Josh, I feel like we've been watching this movie for like forty-seven minutes, and there's still two hours and eighteen minutes left. It's Ghostbusters twenty sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I heard in the Ghostbusters three, uh, all the original surviving Ghostbusters are gonna like help out in the final battle against a giant terror dog. Excuse me. I, hey, if there's Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd, they're putting the packs back on. They're gonna be in the fight in the end. In the end of the movie, I'm they're down. supposed to like go go to a new call. The new, the young ones and the old ones together. It's gonna be badass. Okay, hey, Josh. Your dentist she, she, said that? Josh, she's in her third different outfit of the same day. I know, and he's still in the first. That's not cool. She has more war wardrobe changes than Lady Gaga at the frickin' Academy Awards. <laughs> You're getting an operation. I, I, thought, I thought you saw your dentist today. Did he make her you take your clothes off again? Her next outfit change is just going to be a denim jacket made of meat. <laughs> Wait, your mom's dead? You went home earlier and your mom said, is that you, hon? And you said, yes, mom. Oh, hey, that explains it because she's so young. That's got to be her stepmom. Okay. Gotcha. Thought she might be a ghost. Thought we it had like a cross franchise here it was reverse ghoulies the, it was supposed to be her mom but she was too young just like that one guy was supposed to be going to college but he was too old hey at least mr dick is a doctor now <laughs> it was bizarro ghoulies the complete opposite these extras are not very good at their job <laughs> maybe the carnival just really sucks He has, like, one emotion. That's it. It's got, he's got the angst. Everything is angst with, with, with Glenn. I always thought that, that he looked like Billy Joe from Green Day a lot. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's home. Is that you, hon? Mom, Where's my stepmom that's also in my homeroom at high school? Uh, by the way, this girl's got a heart condition, to be serious for a minute. She actually does need an operation on her heart. Uh, that's, that's kind of the plot of the movie. Well, she has something in common with this movie's script. They no both heart. have no heart, yeah. Did she just throw her Walkman into the... Oh, that was her little heart thing, okay. She threw it into the aquarium. Yeah, she's upset because her dad was banging her much younger mother. <laughs> Bill, your your mom's hot. Or Remember Ted. when I asked your mom to the prom? <laughs> He's going for it with your mom in your but, own room, dude. Doctor Mario, hell yeah! There's a real doctor right there. I, that was fucking state of the art back then, buddy. I remember renting that and thinking it's a new Mario game. And like thirty minutes later, it's fucking Tetris with pills. What the <laughs> hell? You're like, I want my two ninety nine back. Five day rental. Screw it. I'll bring it back tomorrow. Let's be sneaky so the little kid doesn't catch us. What the hell? Yeah, what does that kid care about? It's Friday night. He's playing Nintendo. His life is great. Nineteen ninety three Nintendo. Eight years old. I'd give anything to have that again. Uh, little. It's kind of reversed here. He's actually picking out the outfit for himself. <laughs> his ain't, ain't gonna kiss is, you is alex winter's light supposed to be in high school because he's got fucking crow's feet yes yes oh they passed him out in gym class not health class what the he's hell he's like well i had no idea that they passed him out in gym class because i haven't been in gym class in 12 fucking years because i graduated in 1978 
I've got more reservations about a gym teacher handing out condoms. I don't think this gym teacher's on the up and up. What are we playing today? Dodge balls. <laughs> He's all, Josh, Alex, you guys are in charge of handing out the basketballs and the condoms today. Get over there. <laughs> Got your protection? I got the pads on. No. You got your protection. Here it is. It's the guy. That would that would have been a cool twist right there, wasn't it? <laughs> he still <clears throat> we know it we know it's him though, because he's still got that stupid flannel hoodie on <laughs> on over top of the lingerie. <laughs> Dude, don't just leave it in there. What the Really? There's not even pee or anything in the toilet. What the hell? Wait, who is that? Who is the random woman on her mirror? I think that that's like his ex-girlfriend or something. Oh, this is his house? I guess. I have no idea. I'm just assuming. And that condom is going to be disgusting. That tooth? You're not worried about the toothbrush. You're worried about the condom. Okay. <laughs> Well, you know, at I know, that moment, I know where your priorities are, Alex. Yeah, at that moment, I'm not worried about oral hygiene. I'm worried about having sex. You're not worried about oral hygiene. You're worried about oral sex. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> not, but I don't know what sex is like anymore because Master Evil doesn't let me have any. <laughs> he's gonna do wet work. Yeah, he's gonna do wet work. I try to, do, I try to do a little wet work with Mother Evil, and all of a sudden, I'm the worst person in the world. Teach. She changes the temperature. That that's her dad. I told you not to touch that. I wasn't running. I was walking. What? Oh, please tell me that's not a an anal thermometer. God, this doctor only does house calls. I know. That's 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 a rare thing nowadays. Yeah, he's actually going out of his way. He's helping people, and they're just letting him do it. I'm not really sure how that's going to take, how a scalpel is going to take her temperature, but we'll just go with it. He's got a lab coat on. He must be the real deal. Wait, would that actually kill you in one push? No, it wouldn't. You know how much pressure and force that would take to do that? And that guy is fucking severely out of shape. So, no, it would probably would not have killed her. I don't think that's going to do what you need it to do, buddy. And your girlfriend's a dead fuck anyways. Yeah, not to mention your girlfriend's <laughs> probably underage. And uh, you're, you're like 40, so you just avoided, you know, statch, bud. So you should be thankful. Just turn your back to him and he'll disappear. <laughs> Look, hey, if I didn't know that he was supposed to be in high school, Josh, and I saw this guy coming out of this closet in this kid's room, I would think that he was a pervert sneaking into a kid's room. <laughs> Not right. that it was supposed to be his room. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Why is this adult taking his pants off in my son's bedroom? Is he, is that Dr. Giggles in the bed? What if the guy decided to go home? You know? <laughs> what if the guy changed his mind? Would Dr. Giggles just be laying in there all night? Like, that guy's taking forever in the bathroom. This hey, you're not my guys. girlfriend. I hope you brought protection. <laughs> this, all this fucking guy does is tell one-liners. I love it. You go, kid. You rock. His brother, hey. Did he cut he, his dick off? I don't know, but listen, his brother doesn't give a shit because he's been, his brother, his older brother has been living there uh, past his prime for the last 15 years. He wants his own room. The doctor just helped him out. Can you die from having your Johnson just cut off? Oh, you could bleed out for sure. It would take that a while. Quick? That quick? Uh-oh. No, no you uh -oh. bleed out. Poor kid's dead. Oh, because he's playing video games. He's rotting his brain. He said terminal. Yeah. I thought that the doctor was actually going to do the kid a favor and fix his fucking haircut. Wait, so he's like going by the Jason rules. He doesn't kill children. <laughs> or was it because he, he has respect for the kid for playing Dr. Mario? Mad props to the kid playing Dr. Mario. But what would have happened if that guy who dropped the condom in the toilet was like, I don't have a condom. I... I gotta go home. I'll see you later, honey. And just left, you know, or didn't say anything. Would would Doctor Giggles just lay there for like hours, thinking, when is that fucker coming? You know, I got the scalpel ready. I got my one liner ready. I'm gonna ask him if he brought protection. 
You know, just imagine him <laughs> laying there for like 20 minutes thinking, I don't think that guy's coming. Well, Dr. Giggles is going to have to like hope that he shows up in the first try because Dr. Giggles is really out of shape and he's going to get winded if the guy even tries to escape at all. So luckily none of these guys try to fight back. <laughs> he's like, he's all he tried to run away from me while I tried to kill him on the first try. If I wasn't so horribly out of shape, uh, my killings would go better. Oh. She's a bitch with a heart problem. And I'm the evil stepmom. Your relationship. Just, wait, he just, he just lost his wife? And he's already, like, shacked up with her? Wow. I'm starting to think he might have killed his wife. Your relationship with your daughter is severely hampering our sex life, Jim. I know you just lost your wife yesterday, but come on. Priorities, man. She's not coming back. He's got to take care of uh, Mr. Dick there. Dr. Dick. Her name's Jennifer. I didn't know that until now. What Now, what does the wine mean? Does that mean his daughter was drinking? I'm, I'm lost here. Yeah, and she's got a heart problem, so that's not good. That's not okay. good. Who's that actress, Brooke, who's that actress from the 80s um, that was in, it's in Stranger Things as the mom? Oh, I know who you're talking about. Um, she's the one. Cause Winona that, Ryder. That, yeah, Winona, Winona Ryder. This woman is like, looks like a dollar store Winona Ryder. I think she's actually more attractive than Winona Ryder. Really? Right now. <laughs> yeah. Winona Ryder looks like she's been rode hard and put away wet, but. Put away wet, dried off, and got wet again somehow. Winona Ryder looks like the whole town, uh, including Hopper, has been doing wet work on her throughout all three Stop seasons. it. Stop it. <laughs> oh, here. What the fuck is... Is that ice cream? Yeah, that, that, they need to check the temperature on the yeah, freezer there. so. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, the pig's going to, like get launched off and hit some birds. Bullshit. These girls do not... He doesn't have three girls in this town wanting to do him. Bullshit. Yeah, he does. He's got a leather jacket and he's full of angst. Oh, he's got... He's got yeah, he's got angsty with the leather jacket. I, I am wrong. Yeah, well, I mean, apologize to the Slashaholics for the second time, Josh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We also needed extra people to die, so I get it. Eat your melted ice cream, your bowl of milk. <laughs> when I was a kid, <laughs> hey, when I was a kid, I used to uh, get the spoon and spin the ice cream around him. Try oh, to make I do that all the time. Yeah, I do yeah. that all the time. Yeah, well, she she had a little bit of help tonight. What is she so upset about? Well, first of all, she's got bigger problems now because she's going to get ants. Oh no, ants and angst in the same town. We got problems. Yeah, uh, now, now she looks like the the woman from Twister. We got cows. Oh my god! This is the gosh. only kill I remember from this movie. He's wearing the shit out of that bow tie, though. We gotta at least agree on that. They never made a sequel to this or a remake. That would have been cool. Oh yeah, and you know, I'm I'm surprised they never did a backstory on Doctor Giggles, the prequel. They wanted to do a remake a few years ago. Nicolas Cage wanted to play him. That's that's a true story. Wait. Oh, oh I remember this kill. What goes down must come up. <clears throat> you know what that looked like, Josh? That looked what? like the thing in Hellraiser 2 for the doctor in hell. Yeah. That thing like coming off of his head or his arm or whatever. Hey, the ice cream looks more frozen now than it did before it came out of her. Oh, is she pull it? it's, it's strawberry. strawberry. Yeah, he pulled the ice cream out of her belly. God, I wish I could have made strawberry quick that quickly when I was a kid. Wait, so is this the summer bash? Have we been wrong the whole time? I don't know, but I've never seen someone. <gasps> oh make my a sexual, god! More sexual than that. 
teenage sex. This is horrible. They're breaking one of the biggest rules. Teenage sex in a horror movie, right? If you have sex, you're going to die. That's the rule, right? She's playing the shit out of that read, bud. Is that not how it goes, though? If you drink or do drugs or have sex? I'm sorry. I'm distracted right now. <laughs> She's sucking on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Because it's not Mr. Dick. Hey, wouldn't it be funny if he showed her how to suck on the sack? Yeah, let me show you how. <laughs> let no. me show you how to do it. He just starts, like, uh, yes. uh, binding the stepchildren of the saxophone. Well, he's not a very good boyfriend to Jennifer. Clearly, he's, his ass is grass. And Becky's not even the one getting it worse now. It's, so you cheat, you die. You play saxophone, you die. No, you eat no. Wilted ice you, cream, you die. If you have sex, you die. That's the rule. Premarital sex. Premarital sex. At least it wasn't kitty sex. I mean, that would have been too far. <gasps> he found out she has a heart condition. You know what? What would have been good is if he oh. would have found a book called "Living with Script Problems." We got a. We got another flashback. Let's see what's going on here. She ate too much KFC gravy. She's got a heart problem. So, because his mom had a heart problem, he now wants to fix Jennifer's heart. He wants to be a hero. This well, I'm, convinced, real. I'm convinced he can't fix anything since he's been doing quite the opposite to everybody in this film. What the hell? Dude, he needs to go see that weird dentist in town that fills you up. God, he looks like uh, the guy from freaking Tusk who like kidnaps Justin Long. All I want for Christmas is my ten front teeth. The movie ends here. He actually goes to med school and gets his degree and doctor and fixes her. Yeah, that's it. That's gives her a heart transplant. Yep, that's the film. Who are you talking to? You're not in that house. You're not looking at a picture of your dad. Turns uh, around, it's like the dead stepmom. I'm going to make you proud. If he wants to make his dad proud, he better start by cleaning up his cholesterol. Okay. Before he turned all the way around, his reflection was facing straight ahead. <laughs> I, I just want to point, point that out. Did this film production only have enough money to film, like, to actually have one ride? Because they've only shown the one ride. The, the Ferris Fine. wheel and that. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a goofy. It's, it's, it's connected to the Goofy movie. She's looking for Max. Uh, yeah, Max is in the back of uh, the Gravitron banging some girl in a polka dot dress after they just got done sucking on a saxophone. Real, real mature. Max, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> I was giving her mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. She was dying from from sax, too much sax. He's like, do you think these leather jackets pay for themselves? I have to give sa private saxophone lessons. You know this. Get your hand out of your pocket, you creep. You too, Dr. Giggles. Oh, wait, we have a new carnival ride. Oh my god. Movie. It's the Thunderbolt. I like it when it goes backwards. Did you really steal her picture? Yeah, this is before cell phones. That's his only option. She's holding that jacket on for dear life to hide her third costume change. Mark Wahlberg and Reese Witherspoon are in the background finger blasting each other on the Ferris wheel. <laughs> Lila's Labyrinth. I got a I got a rogue cat tearing stuff up behind me. Josh, he's gonna have a hard time catching Jen with a raging boner in his pants. Have you ever tried to run with an erection? It's not easy. I know. He went and got that he got some of them blue pills off that lady. It's not very aerodynamic, I can tell you that. It's actually a windbreaker. It cuts the wind in front of you so you're actually faster. At least it's not a propeller. 
Usain Bolt, you just set the world record in the 400 meters. How did you do it? Oh, it's simple. I just had a massive boner when I ran. <laughs> Cut the wind resistance. Do we really need that camera shot for that scene? Roseanne? <laughs> Mr. Becky? Connor? Darlene? DJ? What is that one girl? What the... F what the... F what just happened? <laughs> Oh, I want to believe that that was an accident, but it's obviously part of the movie. In my head, Cannon, that wasn't supposed to happen. Where did the blood go on her nose? It was gone for a second. Um, before I kill you, do you have any type of heart ailment? What's your blood type? Jennifer, what's yours? Do you happen to have any palpitations or irregular heartbeats? Because if you do, that could actually eventually save your life. Or any L palpitations, and I can't do it. I can usually reverse the words, but I'm I'm slow tonight. Going down, she chose down. She chose down. What movie is, is it, that from? Come on. I don't know, but as they're, they're, they're in a labyrinth, man. It's a labyrinth. But go ahead, what? As if this movie could sink any lower. <laughs> We didn't get to see that death. That's not cool. It's outpatient. Okay, I call foul. It's been plexiglass this whole time. But the one, one she falls through just shatters. Get out of there. Get out of there. It's, it's, it's Ebola. Or COVID Trust me. Or something. I'm a limo driver. <laughs> She's laughing maniacally, and she's turned into a middle-aged man. <laughs> He's not catching anybody. He is not catching anybody. Well, they're not up to fire code, are they? Okay, what was making the door stick that bad? And what are they doing in someone's backyard? <laughs> yeah, where are all the other carnival goers now? How did they all of a sudden end up in the forest? What the hell is going on? Is that another shirt? <laughs> I don't know, man. Hey, look, you can see her bush. Because there was a bunch of grass in front I of saw, the I get, Yeah, grass. I saw yeah. that. I, you can see her nips. <laughs> Straight to the point. <laughs> <laughs> it must be cold out there. Yeah. What the fuck? I'm going to barely rub this rock on your forehead. Get off of me. I would hate to be Dr. Giggles' dry cleaner. He's killing people. He's got blood spatter evidence all over him. He's got fucking dirt all over him. He's got uh, pop cotton candy all over his coat. He's at the carnival 24-7. He's in that dirty-ass house. He probably smells like shit. Is this the summer bash? Damn! Don't go in there. 1423 Elm Street. Here's the only two cops in town. You're right. It's one of them towns. It is. They got two cops. He's like, shit, we actually got to do work tonight. He's like, do you realize how much paperwork this is going to cost me? I just hit another pedestrian. Who's chasing you? That man that's slinking away over in the shadows at that abandoned house of the ex-murderer? Nah, let him go. I'm starting to think this guy's a football fan, though. He looks either, that, like, either that or he's into gold digging. He looks like a broke down version of George Kennedy from Naked Gun. Leslie Nielsen's partner. I picked the wrong day to quit eating Chinese food. Doodly squat. That's official uh, cop jargon. Did they stink or something? You're a dentist. 
<laughs> Jesus, man, is this town just gonna let this happen? She has one of those toothaches where he, she like it's throbbing. She can like feel it. Yeah, <laughs> we need to check her heart. This toothache is really bad. Why is there a picture of somebody on crutches missing a leg behind this cop here? Look, see it? What the fuck? What is that? I don't know. And is why that is, want it? is that a wanted poster? Why is this guy allowed to wear a 49ers hat? Uh, is I'm, I'm beginning to think that that wasn't issued by the police department. It's official uh, high more or more high, whatever the town's name is. Uh, <laughs> cop uniform he might he's probably he's just into gold diggers man if you're going to be a police officer in this town you're also going to be a niners fan and there's no two ways about it buddy regardless and we're all libertarians too why are they having a conversation outside of the communications room don't they know they're supposed to communicate in the communications room i know that's what it's there for that's a now waste of taxpayers' the, dollars, Josh. Are, are you gonna? Are you attacking him or like coming on to him? The way he was holding him did not look like he was attacking him. He looked like he wanted to kiss him. I know, like he's about to like have one of them like <laughs> moments where they're yelling at each other and then they <laughs> stop and just stare into each other's eyes for a second. Yeah, <laughs> they've got they've gotten so close uh, working on the force all these years together that it finally <laughs> just came out. <laughs> Haven't opened this bottle in 57 years. I opened it once, but I don't count that. Well, I opened it three times. I don't count that though, because it's just a sip and had a gulp. <laughs> I had a gulp in '79 and a shot in '92. I've opened this bottle six times in 35 years. <laughs> the last time I opened this bottle was the last time I hit an innocent pedestrian. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I made out with my partner. <laughs> I only open this bottle on nights where I make out with my partner and hit innocent people on the road. Last time I had a drink was that night that we had the classic car convention here at the police station. <laughs> he does look like a classic car owner. <laughs> I was drinking out of the bottle. We had all the classic police cars out in the parking lot. We had some supermodels taking pictures of people by the classic cars. And I was just getting drunk for no fucking reason. <laughs> he just said it. And then she walked into my office and into my life. <laughs> and when that dame walked in, my life changed. That's forever. exactly what it looks like. Rosebud. She, she might have walked into my life that day, but I walked out of mine forever. <laughs> then we played flashlight tag downstairs. Hey, it was a nice day. The tar man is going to get his ass. <laughs> He's walking down there. I was stressed out because it was Summer Bash 69 that night. Even though it was 1957, I don't understand either. <laughs> he broke up. He's and, we, the... and we had a lot of dead bodies from the, from the convention upstairs. People were just dying to see the cars. And we had the bodies stacked and below the police station for some reason. About 13 or 14 dead bodies. Uh, All 15, those bodies... Maybe. All those bodies are the innocent people he hit while on shift. Yeah, this is where we hide all the uh, uncooperating witnesses. <laughs> One of the bodies was completely naked and had an, uh, been attacked by a face hugger earlier that night. We should have known better. No, a dinosaur is going to hatch out of her. This is Carnosaur 7. <clears throat> it's a boy wait how did he get inside the body though did the woman eat him he didn't sew him up in there there was no scars oh those are all the victims of uh, his dad that they kept at the police station for some reason. Why was, why was he the only cop on duty when, like, mass murder was going on? Because there was, like, 12 cars outside, so it's not like the cops, other cops were out doing anything. Budget cuts. Hmm. <clears throat> Mm, 
too much summer bashing. <laughs> you know, this town could go for a good yank right about now. Back in the day, this town was never high, and after that night, we became more high. Does this police department not believe in lights? That cop right there looks like, like, like someone's telling you a story and you're not really listening to it. You're just like, hurry up, I got shit to do. Yeah, exactly. When you run into somebody you, you knew from your past, right. and your body, your body language is totally pointing the opposite direction, and you're trying to get out of the conversation as fast as possible. Or when someone's talking to you, and you're just saying yeah, and you shake your head like that. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You betcha. Uh huh. You done talking? Okay. You just lost your wife, and you've already recorded the new voice, a <laughs> new boy like an answering machine thing. Jesus Christ, he moves fast. Well, he's all. He, he's all. Can't get to the phone right now. I'm banging my much younger girlfriend after my wife just passed away. Then we're heading to the summer bash. <laughs> Ooh. Answering machines. We, we never had out. one. We never had an answering machine. When I was like 14, I bought like a like an 80s type phone with an answering machine off eBay just to have one because I had my own line and I was being cheap. Yeah. So I bought like an old like had a big old antenna on it and oh, had nice, an answering man. machine. Did it have an FM AM radio dial? No, no. Oh well, I didn't get the cool one. Her name's Tamara. I didn't know that until now. Wait, the phone said this is either him, Jennifer, or like Veronica or something. The director's like, you know, I don't name main characters till they're dead. That's my one bugaboo. If you're going to die on screen and you're a main character, you're not getting a name till you're dead. Oh, you did not just remember all the numbers he said. He's got some foresight, man. He knew how that was all going to go down. He recorded the message. He's an intelligent guy. He's a doctor. He just said, if you think that's bad, wait till you get my bill. This guy is a golden god of slashers. Uh, I want to do the novelization for this book. Someone write it. There can't, but yeah, there's no novelization. And, well, and, did, and we're in luck. It's already out of print because it was never written. Did that cop just walk into a house for no reason? Yeah, he has no, he has no right to, to search this property. Does he have a search warrant? He didn't knock or anything. He just walked in. <laughs> it's a good thing I don't I don't worry about warrants or people's privacy or I wouldn't have found this dead body. I haven't opened this bottle since that night in 93 when I barged into someone's house without a warrant and found the guy dead on the floor. Well, he's Pulled just my been gun, chugging. rolled his body over. He's just been chugging scotch all night long. He doesn't give a shit about rules and regulations. I haven't had a drink. I haven't opened that bottle since that night. I got a scalpel in the back of my brain stem. So much for all of his flashbacks and character buildup, because he's I, fucking dead. And another bottle of scotch. Thank God. Well, kill he didn't the, have kill the giggles. Kill he us. Did, he didn't have foresight for that, but he he knew the guy was going to get in bed earlier. Knew the dad was going to stand facing the answering machine when he listened to it. <laughs> yeah. Good luck patching yourself up with those tools. Yeah, Giggles, by the way, you that's your one lab coat. You're fucked, bud. Hey, go talk to Jennifer. She has like 15 changes of clothes. Oh, she's at the dentist. She's at the doctor's, and like they're going to perform some sort of procedure, and he has one overhead lamp in the entire room. This lighting. town has no, no lights, man. Yeah. Have, it's, it's a lamp town. <laughs> You cannot grab a cop like that and shove them like that and get away with it. He's like, listen, I'm a Lanford mechanic. I need to know what's going on, please, officer. I'm using my dial-up internet to get on AOL 1.0. Dude, there's no internet in 92, at least not accessible to normal people. Al Gore didn't invent it yet. 
No, he was too busy running for vice president in 92. Is he talking to himself and handing yes. the yes. tools to himself? Yes, he is. <laughs> La laughter's contagious. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, he, if if he why? can take care of this himself, he is a good doctor. What? There's a perfectly good dentist that could do this for you in town. <laughs> Everything he's using is like a Civil War medical kit item. This is like his father's equipment, so why doesn't like the suction thing actually like have like blades coming out of it or something you know everything he's had so far has been like a weapon wait a minute wait a minute how did he even know where the bullet was if he's not looking inside this, well yeah he grabbed the right he grabbed a piece of like liver first and yanked on it and said oops that's not it he really did i accidentally gave myself a biopsy fuck <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, like an eight-year-old kid cuts himself out of his body. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the rodeo clown would love this movie. They have a lot in common. Right? <laughs> He's probably watching behind you. Oh, well, guaranteed. You may be right. Maybe you ought to be a cop. He's got that stand behind the person on the computer and look interested thing down really good. Yeah. Tim Tim had it really good in Jurassic Park, the little boy. Except, like, whenever he looks back and Alan and Ellie are trying to hold the door shut with the raptor getting in, and he's just sitting there saying, come on, come on to his sister, and, like, Alan's trying to get the gun with his foot. It's like, Tim, you're not doing anything. Go get the gun and hand it to Alan. <laughs> you're not helping your sister on the computer. You're just standing there, you dick. Go back and watch it. You'll see what I mean. He could have helped Alan and Ellie with the door or the gun. I'm too busy watching to see what Glenn does in Dr. Giggles. What? It's not like I have a lot of say in the matter. I'm chained to this laptop. <laughs> Just because you can watch Jurassic Park doesn't mean I get to. Shut Maybe we'll have the to fuck watch up. Grip on it. Uh, hey, if we can convince him that I hate Jurassic Park, <laughs> that would be the greatest coup of all time. Yeah, and then we show up to do it, and it's Carnosaur 3 and 4. Oh, my God. I'm starting to think you're not a real dentist. <laughs> uh, my wisdom teeth aren't located by my labia, doctor. I have no heartbeat, sir. I'm looking at your x-rays of your wisdom teeth. You're dead, honey. That was actually, hey, that's a live look at this movie's box office. It's flatlining. You made that joke in the beginning. I didn't say it was flatlining. Wait. Okay. Well, that no happened. No anesthesia, nothing. Wait a second. That looked just like the thing that was on her shirt in the beginning of the movie. The melted tomato. That yes. shirt in the beginning was a foreshadow of that right there. That heart. That's what the shirt was for. Where the hell is Tony Stark when you need him? She could just give, he, he, he could just give her an arc reactor. You're going to need a root canal and a breast augmentation. And this don't worry also, about the anesthesia. This is also her fifth outfit change of the film. It's okay, it's another nightmare. <clears throat> He's got them puns, man. I love it. I gotta say, I actually like this movie, Alex. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch this one later by myself, you know, like without riffing on it. <laughs> You're a sick son of a bitch, man. You're living the good life over there too much. He has totally warped your mind. You're gonna watch it again. I know you will. What's so funny, asshole? Didn't even finish my joke yet. He's like, he's like all those years at dental school. Huh? Wait, wait. He's got a machete built into his hospital bed? What the hell? 
the <laughs> Dr. Giggles is like, this is highly unorthodox. I've never had a victim actually fight back. I don't know what to do. I'm going to check your reflexes. <laughs> now stand still. Okay, his puns are getting weaker. Yeah, another punchline. <laughs> Everything seems in order. That was a proper reflex. That was a good reflex, yep. Oh, man, come on. He took it from you. He stole it from me. <clears throat> oh, blood pressure time. <laughs> I can do it too, see? Heath, Heath Ledger, where did you get your inspiration for the Joker? When Oh, I just watched Dr. Giggles on repeat. It's over the scene and over where again. he killed... Scene where, when, especially the scene where Dr. Giggles kills that perverted dentist. <laughs> and it works as a life preserver, too. Hey, Heath Ledger, coincidentally, also got his, uh, uh, his, uh, did his homework for Brokeback Mountain from the scene with the two cops in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Giggles actually, uh, Brought us some great cinema years later through Heath Ledger. This right here is not going to give people confidence in the in the vaccine. Not a needle that big. But as long as Doctor Giggles does it first, I'm game. Oh, oh, they got they got a spotlight in the woods. That's good. Is that supposed to be the moon? Really? Why? Why do I think that Harry? And all the other Sasquatches are going to show up walking in the background of that shot. That truck looks like Dan's truck from Roseanne. I shit you not. Okay, these cops, have, these cops have really got to just quit walking into people's houses, man. Well, was there any probable cause? No. <laughs> no. But I did find two dead bodies. I'm a cop. I just, I just assumed I could go into private residences. You're going to use his long distance, too? Don't watch Carnosaur 2 or Chuck. Treatment, not a good sequel to Rocky Horror. <laughs> That's what he said, right? I actually like Chuck treatment for any Rocky Horror fans. It was just making a joke. You also like Dr. Giggles. Dude, it's not a bad movie. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's great. It's the best uh, movie I've ever if seen. If you watch this by yourself or with, with Mother Evil later, I think you'll actually enjoy it. Oh, yeah. I'll definitely put that on my itinerary. Well, if we're not sitting here talking through the whole thing, you might actually know what's going on and enjoy the damn thing. <laughs> and you'll want to go, then you can go visit your dentist to have your prostate checked. <laughs> we're going to try to remove this bicuspid through the anal gland. <laughs> Anal gland. Now tell me something while I'm putting you under, Alex. Count backwards from ten, and I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Count back from ten. Go. Ten, nine, eight. Have seven, you ever done any six, wet work? Five. Four. You're about to. <laughs> Good night. Open wide. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a. I mean. The, the procedure was great. I mean, everything went as planned, but my mouth tasted like urine yes. after I woke up. And I feel like the doctor was eating asparagus before the procedure. Man, I really thought he was going to just barrel through asparagus. I really thought he was going to barrel through that gate. He really disappointed me there. It's like, yeah. nope, hit the brakes. Well, I don't I, think that gate moves. I'm surprised that he didn't just barrel through the gate. Well, here he is with another uh, non-attempt at uh, obtaining a search warrant. I thought he was going to just barrel through the gate because he doesn't give a shit about search warrants. I know. He's like, this isn't the summer bash. Bullshit. The flyer was wrong. I have not seen a summer bash yet. Or anything that constitutes a summer bash. That thing where the cops broke in earlier, that was not. It was like ten people. That's like a summer get together. <laughs> Don't summer, go in there, man. A Ebola. Summer hangout. A summer Netflix and chill. Mm. 
Man, this house has more life than the whole town. If you're was that girl, was that necessary? Was that necessary to rock that light back and forth? Hey, if you're a girl and you're hanging out with me when I was in my twenties and I say you want to watch a movie and hang out, I'm gonna try to touch your privates. <laughs> it was just a guaranteed thing. Netflix and chill was I'm gonna try to have sex with you back in my twenties. Let's see here. Scalpel, suction, bucket of hearts, bucket of hearts. Wait a minute. Is her heart out? No, he's got a bucket of hearts. That looks like Jason Voorhees' heart. Man, this I guess his, his dad was Colonel Sanders. This is one of the unknown uh, buckets they sell, family bucket, family, uh, hearts, chicken hearts. Um, does he know that the heart matches the blood type and stuff, or is he just going by, is he just eyeballing it? He's just eyeballing it, looking for the proper size. Okay. Who was that? Who was that? That Did was we see that guy die? I think that was the dentist. Oh, the dentist. Okay, gotcha. He had some of that ice cream. <laughs> Wait, is this, that house is a functioning hospital? With more, that's where all the electricity in town's going. All the lights, it's being, you know, rerouted to this uh, old rundown mansion that has a perfectly clean and sterile hospital uh, in it. Why does hey. it look like Doctor Giggles has more machines hooked up? Like it looks like the machine that Doctor Emmett Brown had in Back to the Future Three that made ice. He's got that many machines in his like little lab there. You're telling me. I can't even with this movie. Can, I'm going to do heart surgery after I jump your truck. Positive, negative. Here we go. Will you give it some gas? I said give it some gas. You feel better now? Picking on a whatever it is that's smaller than you? I'm starting to think he doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, I almost feel like he went to the fly by your seat of the pants school. Oh, yeah, he went there with that pun, man. Oh, my God. And he killed her. <laughs> it's okay, you're having a nightmare again. It's another, it's another nightmare. Four out of ten times, it works perfectly. Yep. Four out of ten times, it works every time. Works every time. This is really happening. Uh, you're a day late and a dollar short there, bud. She's fucking dead. Well, that was a uh, shocking turn of where'd events he, there. Where'd his fat ass go? He's a ninja, dude. Don't oh. ask questions. God, did you not see the beginning where he was doing the training with Ra Raz Al Ghul? Oh, my God. To become Dr. Batman? Finish. Oh, yeah, because we always know that, like, those things can hold doors shut. I got news for you, horror movies. People in horror movies. If you can lift up the stuff to put in front of the door, if you're able to move it in front of the door... The overpowerful, super strong slasher guy is capable of moving it. Okay? Maybe not Dr. Giggles, though, because he's clearly winded right now. At least he's wearing a mask and social distancing. <laughs> yeah. That joke, that joke won't land in like three years when someone's watching this. Hey, he'll tear your heart out, but he's, he'll do it from six feet away, by God. At least he's a real doctor. What she's all, she's, she's perfectly alive. He's just he he was an apprentice to the dentist. What the hell was he doing a compression on? Did she did he put the new heart in? No, he never got to cut it out. Okay, uh, okay, I'm Sam. Fucking lost here. It's because we're talking too much. Oh yeah, that's the reason, Josh. It has nothing to do with this movie being a pile of shit. <laughs> it's not. A, this is good compared to some of the other ones, man. Movie What's sucks. wrong with you? This movie sucks. No, it's better than Ghoulies and better than Puppet Master.
uh, Ghoulies is a piece of shit, but this movie sucks as well. His puns are driving me insane. Oh, you like them. You appreciate them. Oh, I don't. You need a second opinion. <laughs> you be, you're a dead man to me. Where'd that nice cop that was giving me a nice fill-up go? Did you fill any lumps, sir? I don't see my dentist for another month. I'm just curious. This is the reason people don't want to go to the doctor. Shit like this happens. Yeah, I know. Every time I go, this shit happens. Yeah. And it, one bad experience ruins it forever. At least the waiting room's not a bunch of loud, obnoxious people. Don't open dead inside. Do not forgive that creep. You caught him. I'm sorry for screwing that other girl right in front of you and not apologizing and trying to tell you it wasn't what you thought it was. I got to admit, I was not giving her mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. That was a lie. I was making out with her. Yeah, Josh, they never established why he did what he did. Just because she had to go home, so he cheated on her, and now he has a change of heart? Yep, and she's going to... A change of heart. Yeah. <laughs> wrong, char wrong character. <laughs> um, she's, she almost had a change of heart. And she's going to forgive him. Really? Kill him. Kill him. Please kill him. Four... Sorry, I had to beat him to the pun. <laughs> get out of here. This is going to get nasty. Can we have Man. one diverse cast member not get killed in this movie? Please. Uh, this doctor is getting a lot of strokes in this scene. <laughs> He's treating a stroke, huh? <laughs> Oh my god, that pun was bad. That was a bad pun. No? What happens? They kill evil doctors? What? What happens? Okay, you can't start a joke and not finish it. What procedure was he going to perform with a revolver? <laughs> Dude, what happens? What happens when children play with guns? Josh, I was, uh, j I was just starting to kind of think he actually was a doctor, but now that he's trying to kill them with a revolver, I'm not so sure anymore. It was the doctor with the revolver in the laboratory. Did I win Clue? What? What happens when children play with guns? I mean, I, that's, that's going to fuck with me forever now. I want to know what he was going to say. What would happen if she had answered that question? Would that have thrown him off? I honestly have no idea. Like, what would happen if you walked up, walked up to a dog and started humping its leg? You know? They, uh, you know, some dogs might like it, some dogs might bite the shit out of you. I know, but you bite one dog and you're a piece of shit. Yeah, dogs can bite anybody they want. A human being goes around biting dogs, all of a sudden they're crazy. <laughs> damn it dude we're watching a movie here that I have no idea what's happening how many bullets are in this revolver I've counted like nine shots so far really come on tell him tell him he's fired tell him he's fired come on Freddy shows up, and the torpedoes. He said, I didn't discharge you. That was close enough. Max? Max? Max, let's go. Let's go fishing with your dad. Seeing it eye to eye. Good you never seen the Goofy that. movie, huh? I, yes, I've seen a Goofy movie a thousand times. I was just actually trying to pay attention to what was happening because I want to see the doctor die. <laughs> really? He's like, <laughs> you're my hero. I'm going to help you escape while I'm down here with a heart condition. And here smoke. we go. Oh, man. 
I was actually rooting for that cop. Me too. Now I we got to hoping... root for the guy who was cheating on Jen. No, we the don't. The dirt bag. The dirt bag who should have put her up there first. Yeah, Glenn only cares about his dick, his leather jacket, his angst. He doesn't care about anybody else. This is like a really drawn out scene, and it's, it's supposed to be suspenseful, but it's really not. Oh, and now it's got some suspense. Ooh, what an upskirt. It's doc she... Instead of Dr. Giggles, it's Dr. Peoples. Why is she trying to run from him? She's literally the only one that he's trying to help. <laughs> I know, right? Well, he wants to cut her heart out and give her another one, so that might have something to do with it. You're breaking my heart. Oh, please kill him and roll the credits. I thought you liked this movie, Josh. I thought you were going to watch it by yourself afterwards, Josh. I'm going to. I'm going to. Then I'm going to do a review on the channel. <laughs> Can I join you, please? Yes. There's another 47 minutes left in this film. I want to know who has done the upkeep. All, all, only thing that's happened to this in 35 years that's happened to that hospital under the house is it's had some cobwebs around it, you know? Who's been doing the upkeep? Ooh, that's ominous. His practice is on fire. He's that good yeah. of a doctor. <laughs> The word, you know, word of his, uh, his skill is, uh, burning through town. I think you got a fever, ma'am. You're burning up. We need one more pun. This movie needs one more pun or it's, I just cannot accept it. Yeah, I feel like this isn't over yet. We didn't actually see Dr. Do Dr. Giggle's big fat ass die yet. <laughs> Lay here, ma'am. We've got, we've got a backup dentist ready to help. Are you wearing panties? That's okay. You won't be for long. And thanks for wearing the hair, hairnet. We're going to have you uh, serving meatloaf in the cafeteria when we're done. That's, is he, did he turn into slime? Is he Ivan Ooze now? He laughs like Ivan Ooze. What does he say? Ooze. Oh, and that second guy does not play dead very good. Did you see that? He's yes. like blinking like. <laughs> All right, count down from 10, 5, 4, 3. You know what scat porn is? You're about to. From 100? Jesus Christ, that's some slow-working anesthesia. How nice of him to put little booties over his actual shoes when he walked into an operating room. Never mind the blood-soaked, burnt-up lab coat he's wearing. Okay, that doctor looked at him like he was, like he was just another doctor. When, didn't even blink an eye at the way he looked. Wait, did he get burnt or did he get genital warts all over his face? I have no idea. And why is this other doctor just staring here watching him? He's like, uh, okay, what, what, he's not going to run away at all? He's in a doctor's lab coat, man. It's doctor, 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 <laughs> doctor. Do you concur? I concur. I concur. That doctor kind of deserved to die, Alex. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, he's a fucking moron. Yes, I agree with you. Good, good work, Dr. Giggles. I'm glad that Jennifer had the slow-working anesthesia to count down from 100 because uh, <laughs> it gave her a chance to escape. I, I almost don't think that they gave her the proper dosage. Well, the doctor did say count back from 100. when It's always 10. But this doctor's like, we don't have much of a budget for anesthesia and more high. Uh, it's all went to the Ebola that we serve at the pharmacy um, <clears throat> and the hold summer on. bashes. Josh, hold on one second. They didn't have enough money for uh, 
like the actual anesthesia, but they've had enough for fucking logic when they're writing the script. That doesn't cost anything. Countdown from a hundred. If if an anesthesiologist told me to count down from a hundred, I'd be like, "Are you smoking crack? What the hell?" No offense to crack smokers. Yeah, if, if you like crack and you watch the channel, we love you. Keep smoking yeah, crack. <laughs> keep smoking that shit. You, you can watch crack and watch. You can smoke crack and watch slash, slash tracks at the same time. There was his last pun. Was it my bedside manner? I guess so. Oh, there's the best one yet. Oh, she, that was a sick burn. Get it, a sick burn? That was a sick burn? Come on. Come on, I get one, right? A sick burn. It's a, he's sick. She's, she's sick. She got him back and she's burning him. It's a sick burn. Is he dead now? Sick burn, bitch. Make a, make, a, make a blood angel there. <laughs> um, he hasn't shit his pants yet, so no, he's not dead. <laughs> dead people shit their pants, Josh. I know. I worked yeah. in a crematorium. Yeah, he hasn't shit his pants yet, so he's technically not dead. I, I was a paramedic one time. That's how we knew if people were alive or not. They're like, they were sitting there saying, I'm alive, I'm alive. And I'm like, I'm just checking to see if you shit your pants. We'll know for sure. <laughs> Now I know why there was no Dr. Giggles, too. Why? Because this movie is utterly rubbish and just a piece of shit? No, because they used up all the puns. No, they didn't! Oh, they saved the best for last! Oh, my God! Josh, I can't, I can't with this film, man. That was it. I did it. That, that was. Oh, I can die, fulfilled. That's it. Josh, this, this we, season series finale of Slash Tracks. There's no beating that. <laughs> hey, we could have a Doctor Giggles drinking game. Every time there's a pun, you drink. We'd be shit faced, man. Like yeah. ten minutes into the movie, she would be housed. She's like, no, she's like twenty seven. 26, <laughs> 25. Yeah, it's Still the next count. day. It's the next day. Wait. No, dude. He was straight up murdered at that answering machine. Yeah, he's dead. Really? He's just a little sore on the side after being <laughs> mutilated by Dr. Giggles? He's selling that injury about as bad as Hulk Hogan would sell a, a opponent's finishing move. Unless it was uh, Ed Leslie or Honky Tonk Man. <laughs> His buddy, his buddies. <laughs> he went against the Booty Man at uh, Starcade '94 for the world title. Everybody <laughs> thought Booty Man was going to pull it off on that one, man. They oh my God! Hulk, Hulk Hogan's belt was in trouble. Oh Hulk my God! She forgave him. Hulk Hogan got hit with the shake, rattle, and roll. Wayne Ferris, the Honky Tonk Man, is going to take the world title back to Memphis. Oh, she's getting excited because they're kissing. Okay. That was an ending. So the moral of the story, folks, is you can straight up screw someone else in front of your girlfriend, but as long as an insane doctor is trying to kill, kill you, it's easier to forgive the asshole in the end and make out, him, make out with him in your hospital bed. Uh, is they really playing doctor, doctor here in the credits? <laughs> they are, aren't they? Russ Fast. Is this doctor, doctor? Yeah, it is. This is a, this is its own version, I think, for this film. It saved the movie. This saves the movie right here. This is to doctor. Give me the news. I got a bad case of watching shitty movies. Got a bad case of watching shitty movies. Did uh, so when this movie came <clears throat> out, do you remember if it was played for jokes or if they were playing it for like actual scares? It 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 was like a slasher making like having fun with itself kind of like jason x <clears throat> but this, this came jason out, x is way better this came out in 92 though this is like pre-scream it's almost like this is uh <clears throat> meta before this is two years before the new nightmare i honestly expected somebody behind jennifer in that last scene to go 
I'm a doctor. When he said, <laughs> is there a doctor in the house? I'm a dentist, anyways. And, you know... Animal <clears throat> wrangler. Feathers I, and fur. I, for that one dog. Um, I never saw the Summer Bash, and I'm disappointed. No Summer Bash. Well, we got a it, we got a handsy doctor, but no summer bash. They promoted the hell out of the summer bash, and there was no payoff. Well, man, um, that was a movie. What what's going to happen now, though? I've been watching this with you for an hour and thirty minutes, and God knows what's happened to that penguin that you sent to Mother Evil that's playing with Mister Flivel. Uh, I kind of want to know what's going on. I'm kind of hoping he calls pretty soon. Just on cue. There he is. You ready to find out what's going on? Let's do it. Anything to get me out of this movie. Anything. Well, I see I chose poorly this time. That movie wasn't so bad after all. Yeah, I actually rather enjoyed that one. I mean, no, that was so bad. Please don't ever... Put us through that again, Master Evil. It was so torturous. No need to pad my ego, Josh. Friends don't lie to each other. Yeah, I'm sorry. Perhaps I thought you deserved a break. Perhaps it's the holidays. Or perhaps you're just not as fucking evil as you think you are. What was that? Oh, I said uh, perhaps you're getting us to let our guards down. Uh, so you can push us way too far. Perhaps. You sure that's what you said, Alex? That sounded a lot longer than the first statement you said. Mm. No, that's that's what I uh that's what I uh That's what it, it sounded I longer. Under the sink, Ma, are you doing laundry? Um, sure. Let's go with that. Bleach, wait. Rewind, what happened to the Penguin Telegram guy exactly? I'm sure he sang his song and went on his way. Yeah, he's on his way to fucking hell. You got a mumbling problem tonight. What did you say? I said, yeah, I bet his song went really well. Dude, no, don't even... I heard you. What you Josh. said was, I bet he went to... Josh! Josh! Leave okay. it. Okay. Alan, did you use the last rule of plastic cheating? Oh my god, they so killed that penguin. Ma! They're in the cabinet by the fridge in the industrial size freezer. Oh good, I gotta make some room in that freezer anyways. Yeah, they, they killed that penguin. What's that, Alex? Uh, I said, uh... He said, yeah, you guys killed that poor penguin. Don't be as absurd. We may be evil, but we aren't that evil. Honey, do you want a free sombrero? Uh, uh, gotta go. They got him, what do you call him, not a singing penguin? Will you shut the fuck up, Rodeo Clown? They definitely, definitely killed that penguin, Alex. You, you, you sent that penguin guy to his death. You realize that, right? Yeah, I do. Um, I, I didn't know that was going to happen. When I, I did it in, I did it as something nice. I did that as a nice thing. Well, maybe the guy was really depressed, and you did him a favor. I. <laughs> Don't know. Well, listen, if he's doing singing telegrams in a, pe a penguin suit, he's got bigger problems. And a sombrero. Uh, he's, he's doing singing telegrams in a sombrero in a penguin suit. The guy has bigger problems than me giving him a tip and a job for Wait the Wait a second. Whenever the rodeo clown made me play Twister one time, there was like a bear... An elephant and a penguin, people dressed up. Was it the same penguin? Was it the rodeo clown's friend that you sent over there? Yeah, because I got a discount. <laughs> Friends and family. Okay, so not only did we have to watch a really shitty movie that I'm going to watch later by myself, but we've gotten, or you've gotten, an innocent penguin guy killed. And now I, and 
don't get me wrong, I knew Master Evil was evil, but Mother Evil is a sick son of a bitch. That is dark, man. And I gotta go visit them for the holidays. What? I mean, we're gonna have, we're doing Secret Santa. Wait a minute, you know? what the fuck are you talking about? You're going over there for dinner for the holidays to the, to the Evil's house? Yeah, well, I thought you knew about the Secret Santa, Secret Santa uh, thing. I don't know about anything. I don't even get. I don't even know what time it is or what day it is. The, the where I live is literally just darkness, and I only know it's another day because Master Evil will show up on the laptop. The laptop will turn on. I'm not allowed to use it until it's time to watch a terrible movie. Oh man, Whew. I was afraid that like you were going to be the one to get me my gifts. <laughs> That's just a load off my mind. Thank you. I'd love to be able to get you a gift. I can't leave. I'm okay. Well, anyways, we're I... gonna we're just having Christmas dinner. We're gonna yeah. do Secret Santa. Uh, there's the Santa Claus actually coming, a COVID safe Santa, and uh, you know. Oh well, thank God he passed COVID protocols because anybody that shows up to the place I'm at isn't wearing a mask, is definitely closer than six feet away, and is really handsy. I know, yeah, man. You'll get used and they to look it. dirty. And they look dirty. But, man, I it's not like I'm staying forever. I'm coming back after our New Year celebration. So, I mean, it's not, it's not like Year's. I'm getting... Wait a minute. You're going to Christmas and New Year's? Well, we're just making, like, a thing out of it, you know? You're it gives me a little... Shit. You're a piece of shit. Okay, Thanksgiving, you love, man. You love, you love this. You love that the shoe's on the other foot. You're Actually, getting off on it. I you was getting off on it, but... Now with the whole Mother Evil freezer, maybe maybe she said she needed to make room in the freezer for like the food she's gonna cook. No, I she killed. Gonna, she kill, I hope she, she's gonna touch you up and cook your ass. On that note, man, since you're being a little hostile for no reason, you need to calm down, take a breath. No reason. Okay, all I'm doing is going and having an innocent Christmas dinner, a few days of celebration. That we're gonna do bring in New Year's together. And then I'm going to have to come back here to my new place. Well, go to my new place. And it's not even that great, dude. Like, I was hoping to get, like, a three-bedroom apartment in my upgrade because I wanted to have a den, a bedroom, and an office. Mm -hmm. And he's put me in a two-bedroom duplex, man. That's oh. it. Okay. And, I'm, and, I, and I, I'm only getting a bathroom and a half, mm -hmm. which I don't even know how that works. It's a, it's a mm -hmm. bath. It's a half. And I'm not, I don't like fractions. So that's throwing me off. That's fucked. Uh, it's bad. Uh, it's not desirable. Um, I have but, a bucket. I have a bucket in my dark room, and if I happen to stumble to the correct corner that it's in, I just pee or poop in it, and it just—it's overflowing. I can't. No one empties it. That's my bathroom. Wet work, man. Yeah. Well, no wonder I've developed a taste for wet work. I've had to adapt or die, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, man, I, I totally feel for you. You got my thoughts. Thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm here for. Well, I'm there for. I'll be here for you after the new year. Can you but, do me one? Can you do me one favor though? Because Master Evil, the last. Because I've been on a shit list before, but now that I'm really on a shit list, uh -huh. whenever whenever yeah. you guys have turkey, uh -huh. he always thinks it's hilarious to send me the turkey ass can uh -huh. you can you please have him not send me the turkey ass i'd rather just have nothing uh, okay so no on the turkey testicles too no turkey testicles no turkey dick no turkey ass i'll take and that I'm off good. the list okay yeah, well man good. i'm gonna call it i gotta get on the road soon uh, i got the new car waiting on me it's not it's an el camino i, I couldn't decide between a car or a truck so he just gave me both i it is what it is. Uh, but I, have a good night, man. I, I know you got plans tonight, right? Oh, hey, Alex. It's time for Twister. Sadly, the um, the penguin couldn't make it for some reason. I don't know why. The penguin couldn't? Nope. Well, it looks like Twister. You got Twister, man. Uh, you got the elephant, the bear, and the rodeo clown. No penguin, obviously. But you, you, got, you got stuff. You got things. Um... Yeah, man. Merry Christmas. Uh, happy Happy New Year. Um, oh yeah, Alex. One more thing. The bear actually brought his friend, who's an actual bear. <laughs> We're gonna have so much fun. 
fucking great. Right Cut hand him. death. Right hand death, apparently. <laughs> uh, have fun. Last track. What's going on? I'll bust it in the damn head. When Master Evil comes to play. And Mama says that it's okay. Alex and 